Okay, so I'm going to try and show you how to set up a tripod over a survey monument for RTK style surveying. Um, it's one of those skills that I think is really overlooked because when you see a professional surveyor do this, they make it look super easy. Or if you practice it at home in the front field, it's, it's super easy. But when you come out here in the field um, and there's bugs and the ground isn't level and there's stumps, and it's cold or whatever, it's one of those things that can really mess up your day. So there's two main pieces of equipment here. The first is a big survey tripod, and then the second is a, a tri-brack. And the truth is, is that these are both tripods. So you've got a big tripod and a little tripod, and the job of both of these things is to be centered and leveled over the survey pin. So we got a survey pin right here, um, and on top of the survey pin is a little cross, and you wanna get leveled leveled and centered precisely over that little cross on the survey pin. So um, the way people get into trouble is when they try and use the big tripod and the little tripod at the same time. So really you got to think of this as like the course adjustment for level and center and this is the fine adjustment for level and center and don't try and go back and forth. So you do the course adjustment first and then you turn your attention to the fine adjustment. So the way I start is um, I just pick the tripod up like this, open up these little uh, things, and then you can lift the tripod legs out. And what you want to do is start by leveling the tripod uh, over the pin, and then take it up to about, I'm standing a little bit lower, so I'd probably go a little bit higher than chest height here. Normally I do it at chest height, and it depends on your gear. Sometimes you have a lot of stuff on top of the tripod, or sometimes it's less, but chest height's a pretty good place to start. So now you lock it in, and um, believe it or not, there's a correct way to hold a tripod. And the correct way to hold a tripod is with two legs towards you, and then these two legs are the only ones you have to touch. You shouldn't have to adjust this third leg. You should be able to center and level it only with your hands on these two legs. So the first thing you want to do is, like I say, kind of a coarse center. And so you kind of peer through the, the top of this until you're roughly on top. And then you kind of stand back a little bit and see whether you're roughly level. Now some tripods have actually got level bubbles on them. This one does not. So you can do a couple of things. Um, these days everybody's phone has got a little bit of a... Oh, you're using my phone. <laughs> These days everyone's phone has got a little level app on it so you can just put the little app on here and then again using just these two legs you should be able to level it all right now it's level and you lock these in and then i probably moved it off center remember i started it roughly at center but now that i've leveled it i've taken it off center and that's always a battle between leveling and centering. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my tri-brack. I assume that I'm roughly leveled and centered there and I want to kind of fine-tune a little bit. So this thing really is a little tripod. Um, you First of all, it's got the three legs on it for adjustments. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that the thing has kind of got adjustments to move up and down. And if you look closely, you can see there's a little groove on each one of these legs and you want to adjust the screw so it's just touching the groove and so that's halfway so you've now got room to move both up and down once I once I put it on so that's about right and then this is the eyepiece here it's an optical plummet and you can look through here and it'll mirror your vision straight down and then you can use that to center so the first thing I want to do is put it on top of the tripod um, puts it in. I like to put it so that the three legs of the tri-brack are aligned with the triangle here. Um, with some tri-bracks that'll end up like this so that the optical plummet is facing me but this is a bit of an awkward setup. But regardless, so now I've, I've got it rough and I've got to see if I'm still over the pin. Now very likely I am not. Um, 
Oh, I forgot a step. The one thing I want to do first is I want to focus the optical plummet so I can see what's going on down there. And there's actually two focus rings. There's a outer focus ring that focuses the dot so that it's in focus. And then there's the inner focus ring that focuses the ground. So what I do is I start with the, the dot. I want the dot in focus. And then I focus with the inner ring that will put the ground in focus. And now everything's in focus and I'm kind of ready to find the pin. So this is kind of um, a tricky step. And um, what you want to do is I take my boot and I put it right on top of the pin because it's easier to find my boot than it is the pin. And so now I can lift up my whole unit and I can move it. top of the pin and now it's on top of the pin and I'm ready I would say to kick in my tripod because it was roughly level I haven't done any big move and I don't want my tripod to move anymore so I'm now going to kick this in and I can make some more fine adjustments to get the bubble right I'm still roughly over the pin. So the game is largely won. The bubble is floating, but it's not right. It's not exact. I'm roughly over the pin, but it's not exact. But I can do all my minor adjustments now with the tri rack because the big game has been won. So it's just a matter of time. So what I want to do now is I want to actually level the bubble perfectly. So now the bubble is level. By doing so, I've almost certainly moved it off of center. So I'm going to look through the optical plumb again. Yeah, and I'm not quite on the nail, so I've got one more trick up my sleeve. You can loosen this, and you can literally slide the whole tri rack across until it's perfectly centered. And I mean perfectly centered. And now I look up, and it's no longer perfectly level, so I want to fine-tune that. There we go. Perfectly centered. Perfectly level. Done. Ready to survey.